Hey everybody, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock. Welcome back to the second edition of Live at Lunch. It's just about noontime now, and I'm going to come on and give you some info. But did you know that today is the very first day of celebration and the items in the January to June mini catalog are now available for sale. So if you don't have a demonstrator that you're working with and you would love a copy of our January to June mini and a copy of our celebration flyer, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll contact you and I'll make sure that these get out to you ASAP. So, and again, well, I also did want to mention because today is our very first day. Today is a great day to sign up and join Stampin' Up! Because not only do you get $125 worth of products for just $99 but no, and no shipping, but you also get five free packs of designer series paper. That's over 200 sheets, a $67 value free just for signing up. And of course, you, you get your ongoing 20% discount after that. So I just really quickly did a kind of a sample starter kit here. So for your $125, you could get the new mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. You could get our friendly flamingo bundle, a pack of basic white um, envelopes, some flirty flamingo cardstock, a memento tuxedo black stamp pad, and the rhinestone basic jewels, all for $99, plus your free five packs of paper. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and uh I'll respond, but it's a great deal. And you'll be joining the Crafty Foxes, which I think is the best team in Stampin' Up! All right, without further ado, let's get going. I want to show you today, really quickly, the fabulous um, gilded leafing um, embellishment that is in the catalog as part of the Fine Arts Suite. So you can see the Fine Arts Suite that's on page, I think, 32 and 33 of the new catalog. And this is the suite that I am featuring for my January class. So that uh, registration closes tomorrow. So just FYI, if you're interested, go ahead and sign up. And we're going to be working with just the gorgeous designer series paper and that gold leafing. Just one little quick card, just to kind of come and show you. And this paper is already so pretty. This is part of the designer series paper that comes as part of that suite. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cut down this piece of paper to uh, five inches by three and three quarters. And that's because I'm going to lay, layer it over a piece of our petal pink. And that will sit on top of our Merry Merlot. So we're going to start our whole card is a half a sheet of Merry Merlot eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Hey, Sherry, how are you? And I just added a piece of our new basic white inside, and that's just five and a quarter by four. And I do that on the darker cardstocks. It just makes it easier when you're writing a note to have that piece of white in there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to layer over the petal pink, and then we're going to put that gorgeous DSP on top of it. And we're going to add some ribbon and a little sentiment that was punched with our new layering ovals punch. Again, this is all new product in that January to June mini. So let's go ahead and start with our designer series paper. So you'll see that I've taken out one of the um, stamps that's kind of like the overlay stamp. You'll see we have the larger petal here and then this one that just kind of stamps on top of that. So I've taken that out and I'm going to stamp that over some of these flowers on my designer series paper in my Versamark ink. And I'm going to work quickly because I want to make sure that I can get my um, heat and stick powder on here. And I'm just going to kind of randomly put it on some of these larger flowers. And I'm not really too worried about how I'm getting it on there. So now I'm going to take my heat and stick powder and just kind of smear it all over that piece of paper with the Versamark on there. I'm going to kind of just do some of this to make sure, maybe just 
put it through again. All right, I'm just gonna kind of tap it a little bit to get some of the extra heat and stick powder off. All right, now I'm gonna take my heat tool, and this is gonna get a little loud, so pardon me while I, oops, let me just scoop up that heat and stick powder. Okay, because I don't want that to get on my work surface. And I'm just gonna turn back here for, for a minute so you can see it. It's going to get kind of um, shiny. And that's how you know that it's kind of ready to use. As soon as it gets shiny, and then we're going to stick it into our gold leafing. All right, kind of got that going on. All right, here we go. Look at this gold leafing. Now it comes in a nice little container like this, but once you open it up, it expands quite a bit. So you're going to want some kind of plastic container to sort of keep it all together so it doesn't really go all over the place and I'm just kind of pushing it on I have like a little sponge here I'm just kind of pushing it on so I want to make sure that it sticks to where my heat and stick powder is now this is the fun part this is the part that requires patience because we're going to very carefully kind of rub off some of the gold leafing or the gilded leafing that didn't really stick okay and this just requires just a little bit of patience to make sure that you're getting all of the excess off. And I'm just kind of gently rubbing it. You can use um, a little a light brush. You can use the, um, the sponge again, whatever you want. But the sponge kind of has a lot of gold on it right now. So that's probably just going to add more than I want. Okay. I think we're good. I think I've kind of gotten off kind of all of the bigger pieces. And I'm just, like I said, just gently rubbing. You want to get some of those little ones that are hanging on kind of for dear life to come off. All right, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty, so quick, so easy, but teeny tiny bit messy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this, layer that up onto my Petal Pink layer. I'm just going to use some uh, Stamp and Seal Plus. All right. Ooh, we still got a little bit of that gold leafing, some of the loose parts coming off. There we go. Now I want to add some of that gold embellished ribbon. So I have two pieces. This piece is probably, I don't know, maybe six inches. And I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of my adhesive there and I'm just going to wind this around the back okay just like that and now we're ready to attach this to our card base and again a little bit a little bit messy a little bit messy oh my goodness I don't know why this is doing this today it's giving me fits let's see if we can get this to work a little bit better okay come on be nice Sometimes when it gets near the end, it gets a little touchy and I'm almost out. So hopefully we can get this to cooperate right now. No, nope, it's not going to cooperate across the top for sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my card base. Now I'm going to take this little piece. This is probably about four inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie this in a knot right over here just to add a little bit of depth and dimension to our card. And the gold leafing is just so much fun to work with. Like I said, it's a little messy, so if you're not into messes, this might not be the embellishment for you. But if you don't mind, just a little bit of mess, it's really pretty. And I really kind of like it. All right, so I've done that. I've added my little tie, my little knot. I've kind of trimmed the ends on an angle to make it a little bit fancy. I have my little layering oval here. And I'm just going to stamp on a real quick happy birthday in Mary Merlot. And this is all from the um, Fine Arts 
fine arts floral suite, everything you see here today, the ribbon, the sentiment, the stamps, the DSP, it's in that fine arts floral. All right, we're gonna add this onto our card with just some Stampin' Dimensionals. I am gonna put one sort of on the top and bottom because I wanna make sure, because some of it's gonna stick on that ribbon, and I wanna make sure that it also sticks on our paper. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this right down here, right kind of over where the ribbon is, and there you have it. That's how you use the gilded leafing. Isn't that a pretty quick little card that you can do? And all we did was use the designer series paper and add that gilded leafing to give it a little bit more pizzazz. That's it for this edition of Live at Lunch. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll see you here next Tuesday at noon. Bye for now.